We're going to turn to Matthew chapter 24, as well as Revelation chapter 6. All right, some further updates concerning about the coronavirus incident. As we all know, the thing is spreading more rapidly, and then some areas in America, it's starting to reach and infect some people. Here in California, we're seeing several areas, so we have to be careful. So some people in our church are taking some precautionary measures, and our church as well, and hopefully the Lord can continually protect us and we don't get infected in some way. But it's something where some Bible-believing preachers, as well as some conspiracy researchers, have been harping on for weeks now. And then obviously, public mainstream news is usually the one that's slow and later catches up later. Usually they'll call you quacks, kooks, crazy. But then what happens is later on, then they change their minds and then they pretend like they never criticize the people who are blowing the whistle earlier. And they're saying, yeah, this is a more of a serious issue, so you want to be more careful. Now, like I mentioned to you before, you have to take criti critical lenses on both sides. So that's what your pastor has always done. But your pastor always mentioned this, is that you can't believe one side or the other. So because of that, that's why I've been safe so far. So the stuff that I teach to you, how I try to do it, is not to say this is 100% so. You notice that? Amen. Especially when you come to stuff where it talks about conspiracies, that's something you have to be very careful and use a lot of mature wisdom on, especially when you're accountable to people who you teach. So you don't want to ruin people's lives or give them misinformation, right? So you want to especially do that. But anyways, it's gotten to a point at hand where Korea just blew up real big. And then now things are going on in America. So this is pretty interesting. This is some of the things that we've been, suspe we've been suspecting. We've been suspecting that this could be something where China might be doing something where due to this man-made coronavirus... So I say man-made because I mentioned to you some of the documentations which were pretty interesting. And then so far, I don't see legitimate criticisms that were able to debunk it. At my very first video about the virus, I was able to see more of an equal level, although mainstream news it still had some problems. But now, as we look at more documentations, it's supporting more of the side that this is more man-made, it looks like. So... I'm just going to go by what seems a more uh, legitimized source so far, okay? So then with this man-made thing, I'll put in quotations just in case people throw a fit. But anyway, with this man-made thing, it could be where China is using this, where they're putting a dominant play to take over the world. Now, I mentioned to you before that in my previous video where I talked about toxic labs, Harvard spies, I mentioned in that particular video with some interesting quotations by some communist leaders where they are, their job is to try to take over the world under America's nose, or they least expect it. Yeah. And then we've seen case after case within this timeline where coincidentally uh, some government agents and they're taking more stronger stances and then arresting some people that have affiliations or connection to China. Now what's further interesting about this is that your pastor mentioned to you before the sequence over here. The sequence is, is that like the seals of Revelation chapter 6, where it comes out where this Antichrist comes in, and then the war that comes in, I mentioned to you before that it comes out with pestilence, which is from death the fourth horseman, but that it will, it will connect with what? Our economy. Now, could it be true with this conspiracy where China, because of this coronavirus, that their economy level went really up? Well, you, you, want, you want me to give you some advice? I'll give you some advice about this one is that if you look at some of the market statistics, the economy statistics between the U.S. and China, uh, especially the health and the medical parts, it is very interesting what you're going to see. So 
as you might know, Trump took strong actions against China, and then coincy dinky, so to speak, you know, this incident happened, and then now China's going really up. Something going on here? I don't know. I do know this, though, is that Trump, he was taking some stances where it disrupted some of the elite systems. Now, like I told you before, I know that still, he's still a puppet for the higher elites, but at least the lower elites over there, they're getting some disruptions from him, right? So because of that, that's his game plan. That's what his intention was, or hopefully it is. But then it affected China here, which is part of the Antichrist New World Order system, so to speak. So because of that, isn't it coincidental that this thing happened and then where their economy was getting challenged by Trump's orders, all of a sudden they just go boom like this. Just look at the statistics with the medical system, the pharmacy, etc. It's pretty, pretty interesting over there. Um, I know that one of our brethren, so in his statistics, so to speak, very reliable, the most reliable statistic system, I jest. But anyway, one of our brethren, you know, one of our brethren, he gave us some images to the church about China Pharma Holdings on their statistics. And then he also uh, showed some other places with the Fidelity Select Healthcare Portfolio. And then some other more images here. He has the China Health Group. And then another one over here is the China Online Education Group. So I've listed uh, four examples over here, and you can take a look at that. But I'm sure if you do your... The best research that you can rely on is obviously not just word of mouth from me, but you yourself have to look it up. Amen. And if you look it up, I think you'll find more things than what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now... Some interesting analysis is this, is that I'm going to read you some quotations here from these news articles. Now, this article is titled, The Silent Threat of the Coronavirus, America's Dependence on Chinese Pharmaceuticals. Hmm, this might be something going on. Date is February 11, 2020. Now, they've done work with the Texas A&M University here, okay? So then the stuff what they're going to quote over here is not just something amateurish. Quote, we represent an interdisciplinary group of scientists and policymakers at the Scowcroft Institute's pandemic and biosecurity policy program based at the Bush School of Government at Texas A&M University. Amen. All right. This is what they say over here. Today, about 80% of pharmaceuticals sold in the U.S. are produced in China. Mm, did you know that? Wow, wow, wow. This number, while concerning, hides an even greater problem. What is it? China is the largest and sometimes, sometimes only, global supplier for the active ingredient of some vital medications. The active ingredients for medicines that treat breast cancer and lung cancer and the antibiotic that, uh, man, I don't know all these medical terms, but anyway, I'll just skip that, which is a last resort antibiotic for some types of antimicrobial -micro resistant infections are made almost exclusively in China. Additionally, China controls such a large market portion of heparin, a blood thinner used in open heart surgery, kidney dialysis, and blood transfusions that the U.S. government was left with no choice but to continue buying from China even after a contamination scandal in 2007. Wow. This is history. Wow. See? Don't you think it's going to repeat again where U.S. in this threat, uh, in this level of situation which is really bad, that they're going to seek after China again. They depended on China before, they'll do it again. China is not only the dominant global supplier, supplier of pharmaceuticals, but it is also the largest supplier of medical devices in the U.S. These include things like MRI equipment, surgical gowns, and equipment that measures oxygen levels in the blood. Uh, supplies of these essential products have not yet been severely disrupted by the coronavirus, but if China is no longer will or able to supply them to the U.S., what if China doesn't do it? What if China doesn't supply it? You know what they said? 
Thousands of Americans could die. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Revelation chapter 6, what does the uh, red horseman does? Revelation chapter 6 verse 4. And red China, right? Your pastor mentioned that this is uh, mainly Russia over here, but it could include communist allies. So it could include them. Verse 4, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. So look at that. This could be this uh, quote-unquote bio-warfare perhaps. Perhaps that's what could be going on with China and the U.S. But notice verse 5, the economy, see that? The economy is being affected. And China is the one that's supplying. And then verse 8, there you see that pestilence. You could put the coronavirus there. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that this incident going on with China is happening uh, with Revelation chapter 6 with the opening of the seals. Obviously, this is happening at the future sometime. But the thing is this, is that these are little prerequisites and signs of what's showing what will actually happen in the tribulation. Why? Because, why do you think that these seals are going to be shown? Because it's repeating a pattern of what mankind will do and what they're capable of. That's what you got to understand. Mankind, if you look at history, it's not really nothing new. It's a repetition of their actions. So why do you doubt, Revelation chapter 6, these seals? that these could be reflecting and a repetition of what mankind's doing now or back then. See, mankind is capable of doing things, repeating things. And Revelation 6 with the opening of the seals, it's just going to be a repetition. But on a much larger scale and where it truly involves demonic forces this time, where hell is unleashed, etc. It's more spiritual powers rather than physical like we're having right now. But anyway, let's go back to some of the readings over here. More concerning still are the limited options available to the U.S. and the rest of the globe to make up the shortfall. It could take years to develop the necessary infrastructure to reestablish U.S. manufacturing capacities and obtain Food and Drug Administration licensure to overcome the loss of the Chinese supply. Woo! Uh, some of you know this one, perhaps. Bill Gates mentioned before about if something, an incident like this, like a pandemic situation came out, that America is definitely not ready for it. Isn't that interesting? Another interesting thing which your pastor mentioned before is that Bill Gates, which some conspiracy researchers, and then Alex Jones mentioned this too, is that when Bill Gates talked about his vaccines thing, there was a Netflix show that came out earlier before this coronavirus thing happened. So some people are supposing, could it be where when this thing came out, then when Bill Gates come to the scene with his vaccines, this could be the savior that the world is seeking after. So if the whole world is affected by this, they could be seeking one savior for this. So which is kind of interesting food for thought. I don't know how much of that can be true, but I do know undoubtedly that undoubtedly the elite system has a control with the medical supply, with banks, and that they are going to do something like this in order for the Antichrist to come in. But let's keep reading over here. <laughs> when a disease reaches epidemic levels, the first obligation for leaders in any country is to protect their own people. As this current crisis progresses, there may come a point when political leaders in China, listen up now, will face decisions on whether to prohibit the export of pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and other vital medical components in order to treat or protect their own people. If that's the case, no, think about everybody who's buying stuff from them right now. And then their economy can hit up and see all the world are dependent upon China. What is the Antichrist kingdom dependent upon? It is dependent upon a social socialism power. It is a socialism power. And China could make a big way, pave the way big time for that one. How about that? But anyway, let's keep reading here. Such acts would be the logical outcome of an escalating situation. For the 2009 HIN1 pandemic response, for example, uh, excuse me, H1N1, excuse me, pandemic response, for example, the U.S. was pushed 
to the back of the queue for vaccine deliveries, even though we had existing contracts with a major vaccine manufacturer located in another country. Those vaccine deliveries were delayed. But let's say if Bill Gates come out with the vaccines, maybe this could be the savior that America could rely on then. Maybe, food for thought. Additionally, Wuhan, Wuhan is the location of China's first bio safety level four laboratory, which was opened in 2017 to research SARS and other emerging diseases. It is the only, listen up now, this is why some conspiracy researchers are really suspecting, rightfully suspecting this. It is the only lab in China that can safely handle the world's most dangerous pathogens that pose a significant risk of transmission. All right. And I'm reading you not just amateur articles. You know that. I'm just reading you stuff that these people did with the A&M University, et cetera. All right. Here's another interesting article. Now, this one I find more interesting, actually. For instance, uh, oh, I got to give the article title. The article title is Bad Actors Getting Your Health Data is the FBI's Latest Worry. So FBI, uh, so there's a person from the FBI who actually gave this report too. All right. So this is really, really interesting. This is from Leaps Mag. The writer is Emily Mullen, February 25th, 2019. Okay. Now this is something you want to hear. Now I got to scroll down over here. For instance, the advocacy group Human Rights Watch in 2017 flagged a concerning trend in China's Xinjiang territory, a region with a history of government repression. Police there had purchased, listen up, police there had purchased 12 DNA sequencers and were collecting and cataloging DNA samples from people to build a national database. Isn't that disturbing? Why? Because over here they mention that there was an incident going on where even one of the FBI representatives had to comment. FBI agents worry that the vast amounts of healthcare data being generated for precision medicine, medicine efforts could leave the U.S. vulnerable to what? Cyber and biological attacks. And guess what? China is one of the people that they're concerned about. If not the country, then the Chinese people over there. In February 2015, the health insurer Anthem revealed that criminal hackers ha had gained access to the company's servers, exposing the personal information of nearly 79 million patients. It's the largest known healthcare breach in history. All right, let me just keep reading here, okay? This is... Um, by uh, the, one of the FBI's Weapons of Mass Destruction Directorate, all right? Uh, you. He says this, if a foreign source, especially a criminal one, has your biological information, then they might have some particular insights into what your future medical needs might be and exploit that. Mm. Mm. But let me keep reading. It gets more interesting here. All right, let me scroll down over here. So you'll notice right here that there was a concerning trend in China's Xinjiang territory where the police, 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 okay? They purchased 12 DNA sequencers and were collecting and cataloging DNA samples from people to build a national database. You see how disturbing this thing is? But let's keep reading over here. So one of the people who's uh, championing, championing human rights Ms. Berger, she mentioned this concern. The concern is that this particular province has a huge population of the Muslim minority in China. Now they have a really huge database of genetic sequences. You have to ask, you have to ask, why does a police station need 12 next generation sequencers? Hmm. Also alarming is the potential that large amounts of data from different groups of people could lead, listen up now, if they obtain the information, then what could it do? Could lead to customized bioweapons if that data ends up in the wrong hands. Wait a minute. So if this happened a couple of years prior to the coronavirus, maybe 
some of the hackers over there, God forbid, where it involves the government and police force, taking information, and then what? Starting some kind of bioweapon problem or situation. Could that be it? I'll tell you what, even if that's not the case, the potential and capability is there, according to the news. They have the potential and capability to do it. So that's undeniable. Makes you kind of nervous, right? And when you read about the history of China, what they've done, it's not something that you can really trust them with, right? Oh, they're not going to hurt us or anything like that. Anyways, let's keep reading over here. Eleanor Powell is a research fellow on emerging cyber technologies at United Nations University Center for Policy Research says, new insights gained from genomic and other data will give scientists a better understanding of how diseases occur and why certain people are more susceptible to certain diseases. As you get more and more knowledge about the genomic picture and how the microbiome and the immune system of different populations function, you could get a much deeper understanding about how you could target different populations for treatment, but also how you could eventually target them with different forms of bioagents. Here's another one. Another reason hackers might want to gain access to large genomic and other healthcare data sets is to give their country, listen up, why would hackers want to do this? To give their country a leg up economically. Wait a minute, you know, uh, we already had a few incidents where China could have that capability before the coronavirus came out. And then after this coronavirus came out, coincidentally, just the economy of China went whoop. Many large cyber attacks on U.S. healthcare organizations, listen up, many large cyber attacks on U.S. healthcare organizations have been tied to Chinese hacking groups. It is, uh, Ms. Powell says this, it's becoming clear that China is increasingly interested in getting access to massive data sets that come from different countries. A year after U.S. President Barack Obama conceived of the Precision Medicine Initiative in 2015, later renamed all of us, uh, U.S. China followed suit announcing the launch of a 15-year, $9 billion precision health effort aimed at turning China, into, turning China into a global leader in genomics. Chinese genomic companies, too, are expanding their reach outside of Asia. And they give some examples. Uh, there's a lot. I, I can't read all of this, but this is gold. This is just gold what I'm reading here. So, but I don't have time, okay? I got to... Okay, here we go. This is what I want to conclude with. Mm. Experts worry that China could race ahead the U.S. in precision medicine because of Chinese laws governing data sharing. Mm -hmm. um, yada, yada, yada. Let's scroll down over here. Mr. Yu, so remember the FBI representative, cautions people to think twice before taking consumer DNA tests. They may seem harmless, he says, but at the end of the day, most people don't know where their genetic information is going. If your genetic sequence is taken, once it's gone, it's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. All right, there's so much I want to read here, but I got to stop. Okay. So, Matthew 24. As mentioned, what will happen in the tribulation that follows a fourth seal. So, let's look at the sequence once more. The fourth seal of Revelation. Look at verse Matthew 24, verse 5. The first seal, Antichrist comes. Verse 6, the second seal, you get war. Uh, the, verse 7, second seal, war. But keep reading verse 7, and there shall be famines. Third seal, and, and what? Pestilences, your fourth seal, death. So here comes death riding around, affecting the world. But it's so interesting how it's tied, how these seals are all tied together. You notice how these four seals are all tied together? Mm -hmm. 
So it's the same thing with our history of today. Why doubt in the tribulation future? It's going to be the same thing. You see the same, how they're all coinciding together with the third seal, fam, uh, with the economy, right? The economy. It's affecting the economy with this coronavirus, which can match with fourth seal. And then the second seal, bio-warfare right there, going on with the red horse, like red China. And then we're just waiting for that first seal. That first seal to come out for the savior of the world. Until the world gets to a point where all the world is united together and really panicking, this savior can come out over there. And this savior can come out and then provide the cure, perhaps, or the vaccine. And then I'm sure some of you already know the conspiracy conspiracies behind vaccines too. So aside from that, you just combine all this together and then the savior can come out, which is like a Bill Gates type, so to speak, and say, I'm the solution to your problem. And then the whole world can wonder after the beast. But it's also interesting is that when people don't like this money handing out, yeah. where do you go to? You go to what China's been doing this time, all electronically. And they're going to become dependent on China on that. And then you get Bitcoin and etc. Mm -hmm. How about that? See, then China is that world power. And that is a necessary power for the Antichrist kingdom is socialism. It is necessary where you have to have a one world power, etc. You just get United Nations, which they're already doing, you know, depending on China. Then you get China's root belief of socialism combined. But it's communism, right? So that's too extreme. So why not go to a mediate force where it's socialist and where we're getting to the presidential race where the next generation's like, Bernie Sanders, ar, 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 ar. you know, they want Bernie Sanders. Amen. And you see that? See how Satan's doing? He's preparing everything into a clean plan and setup. That's what he's doing. And then what's interesting is that well, one of the big uh, places that's getting hit with the coronavirus is where it's going to have to play a big role in the future of the tribulation, Italy. And then you, there are some rumors spreading about, about the Pope. You know, does he have the coronavirus or not? So think about this. If you get that person out of the way, maybe, and then you get someone else to replace the, him, and then that person becomes the Pope and the Savior, so to speak, could there be deeper plots and forces behind that? Could there be something going on? Anyways, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. So what do we Christians do? We Christians, all we can do is, like I've always, always told you, just trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Just keep trusting in God. He'll take care of everything. Amen. Obviously, I'm not telling you to be stupid where, you know, if a hurricane comes, you don't do anything about it. You know, do some preparatory measures, obviously. But don't let preparatory measures turn you into a paranoia. And this paranoia that takes over your mind where you can't learn to rely on God. Myself, I'm preparing, but I don't let that become a concern to me, see? You know why? Because I completely trust in God with his timing. And with this coronavirus thing, your pastor here has been taking some measures. And some of you members already know what I've been praying about with these preparatory measures and it looked impossible but you see how God timed everything right Amen, brother. so how can God do you wrong and if it doesn't come out to the way that you want it to be remember this Romans 8 28 God knows what he's doing all right so what you Christians need to do in the meantime is just keep going about your father's business Amen.